Erica, and I want to tell you about my favorite month of the year. <gasps> no, I want to sing about it. I love July. You want to know why? I love July. You want to know why? It's because July is the month where you can play outside, eat homemade ice cream, and do all the fun summer things. But it's also when we celebrate Christmas in July. Have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the- It is the best time of the year. Some of you are probably thinking that it doesn't feel like Christmas time, and that's okay. It doesn't have to feel exactly like Christmas time to celebrate it. That's what Christmas in July is all about. It just takes a little extra faith. Faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. Take Christmas presents, for example. Even though we can't see what's inside, we have faith that it's something good and exciting because it's from someone who cares about us and wants us to be happy. Like this one is from my friend, Haley. Man, do I want to see what's inside? Not a problem. Just gotta focus all my senses. Or maybe I need to focus with an x-ray machine. Yeah. Okay, it's not a real x-ray machine, but it's homemade and it should do the trick. <laughs> Just one thing first. Got it! Now I can see what's inside. Hmm. It's kind of dark in here. This may take a while. Today's story is all about gifts, by the way. Actually, it's about one gift. And it's a big one. You won't want to miss it. See you soon. Maybe it's a pair of socks. Or a composition book. Those are kind of black, aren't they? Huh. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Is it halls or is it hall? Huh. Fa la 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 la. Tis the season to. Be jolly. La 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 la. Don we now our gay apparel. You ever get the feeling you're being watched? Christmas in July, everyone. My name is Brandon. Oh, Christmas in July. That's why all the, uh, is that a thing? His name is John, and this is the So-and-So Show. Yeah. Merry Christmas in July, buddy. For me? <laughs> wow, thank you. This is, okay. Uh, wow, you got me a book. You, you know me so well. Oh, no, it's not just any book. It's Charles Dickens' immortal classic, A Christmas Carol. Yeah. You know, with uh, Ebenezer Scrooge? Yeah, yeah, I saw the movie. It's, uh, thank you. What? What? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you're wondering if I got you a gift for Christmas? Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> I didn't get you a gift. Huh? I... I don't. I don't understand. I I I, I didn't get a, you a Christmas in July gift because I didn't know that Christmas in July was a thing. Of course it is. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course it's a thing. Everyone knows it's an actual thing. Of course they do. Yeah, right. Do they? Yeah. Look, ha have I been not? A, ha have I not been a good friend to you over the past half year? I mean, mm -hmm. I, haven't I done enough to earn a gift from you? What's the point of putting so much work into this friendship if I don't get a gift on all the major holidays? I mean, major? Yes! Uh, okay, but I think maybe you've missed the point of holidays, and of friendship, and of gift-giving all in general, my friend! Hmm? What's that? Is that my gift? No! You. No, it's not a gift! What's in the box? 
Chejo. Why are you talking like that? I don't know. It's fun. Hey, you will be visited by three ghosts. Ghosts? No, wait. No, no, no. Guests. You will be visited by three guests. Please welcome someone who knows stuff. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you for being here. Come Thank on, come on. Thank you for on. having me. All right. <laughs> yes. uh, okay, let's see what you got. That's great. Uh, so who are you and uh, what do you know? Well, hello, my name is Simone. Mm -hmm. I am the guest of Christmas Past. I've kept every Christmas gift oh, I've ever had. Ooh. Ever? Ever, like Rubik's. Hold on, I got something for you guys, Rubik's. Cute. Nice. I got this like 27 Christmases ago. I'm going to solve it one day though. Ooh, oh, yeah. <laughs> la la. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> close. Uh, so you think gifts are important? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. They're most important. How else am I going to show someone that I care about them? Spend time with them? Nah, <laughs> time is fleeting, but gifts, gifts last forever. That is the opposite of true. Like this stuffed animal from my first Christmas. Whoa. <laughs> this is my hairy bear. He's been through a lot. Has he been through a wood uh, chipper? Ooh, 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 ooh. Wait a minute. This is a super fun paddle ball. But, lost the ball though. But, my favorite first gift was given to me 10 years ago. It was this big jar of slime. <laughs> it's gonna come out one day. <laughs> Look at there. It's not so slimy anymore, is it? I know, isn't it great? Huh. Yeah, I think I see that why you're here now. You're here to show me that stuff doesn't last forever. I get it. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm actually here to show you, let me show you. Ready for this? This napkin. I had to blow my nose and someone was like, do you need a napkin? And I was like, thank you. End of the story. Was that really a gift though? <gasps> it was given to me, so duh. Okay, thank you for coming on the show, crazy. guest of Christmas past. You've, crazy. you've uh, been a big help. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'll just get my things. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Here you go. Here. So don't forget, awesome. thank don't forget, you for carry everything. the. Oh, yep. this is so nice. There my you little go. tissue. All right. Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, thanks for coming. Well, yeah, thank thank you. you for having me. Uh -huh. Just thank you for having me. One last thing. Uh, can I keep him? Sure. sure. Thank you. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> So? Okay, so I guess getting stuff for Christmas in July isn't the most important thing, okay? But I'm still mad because you didn't even try to give me something. Maybe not something you can hold, but right now at this very moment, I'm giving you my undivided attention. That's not true. You're thinking about whether or not cereal is soup. But isn't it? It's in a bowl. Can we move on to the guest of Christmas presents, please? Okay, you asked for it. It's Bible story time with Killing! Hey, fellas. Hey, Kellen. Wait, Kellen's not a guest. He's here every week. Just go with it. What have you got for us today, Kellen? Well, today we're playing a game. It's called... Who deserves it more? Awesome. Okay, how do we play? The rules are very simple. You will both be put through a series of challenges. You will get points for each challenge you do well. At the end of the game, we'll see who has enough points to earn the grand prize. I have always wanted one of those. Bring it, Kellen. Yeah, I'll go first. Okay. First, I'm going to test your biblical knowledge. Contestant number one, can you name all 12 of Jesus' disciples? <laughs> okay, I've got this. 
Jesus called them one by one, Peter, Andrew, James, and John. Next came Philip, Thomas too, Matthew and Bartholomew, James and Simon, Thaddeus, and the last one is Judas. Is that right? That is correct! Oh, yes! Contestant number two, your biblical challenge is to name the 12 tribes of Israel. I can do that without a song. Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Dan, Naphtali, Gad, Issachar, Asher, Zebulun, Benjamin, and Joseph, who was later split into the two half-tribes of Manasseh and Ephraim. In your face. Correct! This next challenge is a head-to-head -head round to see which one of you can have the longest quiet time of reflection and prayer. The winner will be one step closer to earning the grand prize. Get ready. Get set. Be quiet! <laughs> oh, so sorry, John. Brandon was quieter and more reflective. You know it! Oh, oh, I think I know what's happening here. Brandon, I am really Really proud of you for winning that round. Aw. Great job, buddy. Thanks. Mm -hmm. See how humble I'm being, Kellen? Do I deserve points for being more humble than him? Oh, absolutely. Here you go. Hey, how is that fair? Oh, no, you're right, Brandon. It's not fair. You can have some of my points. More humility? Way to go, John. B -b 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 Bingo! Hey! Not to worry, contestant number two. We're going into our Good Works Lightning Round. Who's done the most good in the world? Go. I helped change a tire when I didn't have to. I did the dishes even though I wasn't asked. I, I paid for the coffee for the person behind me in line. I donated a bunch of clothes I don't wear anymore. I, I play board games at a nursing home with the residents. I offered someone my seat on the bus. I, I took care of my friend's cat when she went out of town. I got you a gift on Christmas in July. There is no clicker. Time's up. Contestant number one, it looks like you have 51,500 points. And contestant number two, not far behind, with 51,000 points. Let's see if either one of you have done enough good things to earn the grand prize. Judges? Ooh, so sorry, you two. You did not do enough. What? No! It's true. There are some gifts you can't earn, no matter how good you are. Check out what the Apostle Paul wrote in his letter to the church in Ephesus. God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It is God's gift. It is not based on anything you have done. No one can brag about earning it. You know what that means? You both win! Hey! <laughs> I thought we didn't have enough points. That's the thing about God's grace. You can't earn it because you don't have to earn it. Jesus already paid the price when he died on the cross for you and me. I mean, don't get me wrong. You should read and know the Bible and you should be humble and be kind to one another. But the gift of salvation doesn't cost a thing. It's free for anyone who accepts it. I forget that sometimes. Thanks for the reminder, Kellen. Yeah, thanks, Kellen. No problem, guys, and I'll catch you later. Oh, and before I forget, Merry Christmas in July. Bye, Kellen. You know, I really learned a lot today. That was strange. Yeah, it was. But as I was saying, I really learned a lot. Ah! <laughs> Are you the guest of Christmas future to show me the error of my ways? To help me understand that you shouldn't try to earn gifts, especially not the greatest and most important gift of God's grace? What are you... Reveal the question? Oh. <laughs> Reveal the question! The question of the day is, why do people give gifts? Hmm. What do you think, guest of Christmas future? I know! Just cuz! That's why people give gifts! Oh, that's a good reason. What do you think? Why do people give gifts? Yeah, and yeah, talk about it together! We'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show! Merry Christmas! Is he still here?
five, six, seven, eight. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. Don we now a gay apparel? Fa la 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 la. Troll the ancient yule tide carol. Fa la 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 la. Kazoo solo. Kazoo solo. You don't have to do solo if you don't want to. I just can't see it. Can, can you see it? No. Well, you know what I can see? I can see the amazing gift God gave to us. Not something we earned or worked for, <laughs> but a gift God had planned since the very beginning. See, when Adam and Eve first turned away from God, sin entered the world and people's relationship with God was broken. And people were waiting on God to send a savior. And that's exactly what he did. He sent Jesus to die on the cross to pay for the price of our sins. Jesus was God's gift to the world. So it's easy to think of things we can hold and unwrap as gifts, but this gift from God is so much bigger than anything that could fit inside a box. You'd need a really big box. Bigger, 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 bigger. It doesn't matter if you found the biggest box on the planet, it still wouldn't be big enough. That's because there's no limit to God's grace. He loves you more than you can imagine. There's nothing you could do that would make him love you any more or any less. He sent Jesus so that we could have a relationship with him that will last forever. So the one thing to remember today is this. Jesus is a gift for everyone. When we believe that, it helps us do good things and love others, not because we're trying to earn God's love, but because we already know how much he loves us. And if you're not sure what you believe about God yet, guess what? God loves you so much, whether you realize it or not. It's like God is giving you a Christmas gift. All you gotta do is unwrap it. <laughs> That's the only way to really know what's inside. I'm going to the movies. Merry Christmas.